your engines! Welcome to the National 500 here in Charlotte. Uh, third to the last race of the 1970 season for us. I did tweak the 1971 season, so now there's only five races that I'll be doing. It will pop up hopefully on the video. Instead of the uh, six original ones, and also I changed which Riverside race we were doing. They were doing the same one that we did this year. Get ready now. Going green. Pace cars in. So we got 84 laps. I was originally going to do the whole green, 100 green. and the 1, but I decided to just do 84. Because fuel wise, we should be. Yeah, we should at least have to do a pit stop. We'll give you one and a half cans of fuel. And as long as it's more than like 70 you know, laps, that's all I really hope for in a race like this. Especially with all these wing warriors, as we are in uh, the number 28, replacing Fred Lindsen, who's in the 3 car, who's actually the leader right now. I believe leading Bobby Ellison up there in first, uh, first and second. As we're trying to get around Jay Thomas, Haas Ellington, Bill Dennis, and the three car, 36 car, and Buck Stevens, I think that is. We also got Dave Marcus the back here as well. Outside. Oh, get to the inside. I think we're going to be good though. That was a little You're bit of a late line. move because I was just trying outside. to not run through the back of him. Clear outside. Outside. It's actually first in the 36 car. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Still there. Move up. Car I was going to change what cars I'm going to drive as be by. in the 971 season. I'm going to be driving Fords instead. Clear. And that 68 car right there is actually one of the cars I'll be driving. I honestly forgot. I believe it was the Daytona race I'll be driving that car in. And Tommy Gale's car I'll be driving for the Ontario and Riverside races. He saw Gordon was stopping right in front of us. I want to make it four, but it's not going to work. Sadly, I think we can make it three down the quad over him. Hopefully he checks out of it. There we go. Now we get clear to those guys. Now we can make, make it three over on the outside. Use the high side. Keep high. Keep high. Still there. Kind of just ripping the tip Still pretty there. much. You're up top, three wide. Let's get around everybody and our side by side. And I'll lift a little bit more up the turn four there because it was so close up to the wall. Clear inside. And turns three and four are completely in different. And turns one and two. I have a sense of approach and tightness. Inside. Still there. As this track is not perfect and the quality of shape is Clear. actually a little uneven on each side as over here is shorter of a corner and then that means this first part of the dog leg is actually longer than the second part of the dog leg. Actually also a little bit less notable steering too. Clear. Speed, and we already have our first caution on the lap six, and there is apparently a big one. Uh, turn two, as we come by, come up to lap seven, and I believe someone that blew a tire and wrecked or blown up and wrecked. So let's see what happened there. So I was correct, here's my Arrington, he did not blow up, it was actually the 72 car Benny Parsons there as you see smoke and then he's going to run in the back of a couple guys, you see Benny Parsons there, pretty slow and then the big one begins, Emma Langley upside down looks like, yeah, yeah there he goes, he's very rolling, comes back on the wheels and dries off. Take out some wedge, we'll lower the track bar, we're going to add some tape, pit road is now open. 
so we come down to pit lane and we're gonna keep it under, fix see a couple of cars on the on pit lane after they got destroyed car. in the lap six axle. And I honestly forgot You're about that. You're too far back, pull up, limit 70, keep it under, fix Four tires of fuel. That's all we're gonna do here. In turn one. A couple of adjustments too to make it loose. Go, go, go! The pace car in turn two. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 6,000. Here for the first restart. Pace car and the second green flag that we're gonna get after that first caution. That big one turn two after Benny Parsons green, green, green. blew up. Come back green. I don't, know I don't know exactly where we are. I can check right here as we cross the line. We're in 12. As Emma Langley has gone back on the track, as we're checking out hard, because I believe Haas Ellington has issues. As he is a lot down and up here because of his unfortunate. G oh, it's Jay Thomas actually that's causing this. Good luck that we got around before he tried to block us going to three. You're up top. Three I thought Pearson was inside. pitting and that everybody was checking up because of that, but he didn't pit whatsoever. As we come up on You're Alien up 10, we're going to make it You're three. three we had a lift inside. there, clipped the wall a little bit, the but it's still good. Clear. Or he's definitely loose, or I can feel it moving around the back. Still go three if GC doesn't try to inside. chop us up into uh, Leroy there. Clear inside. Up on uh, Isaac and Pearson as we go around the outside of You're Isaac. Good job. And we got to check for Pearson. So we're up to, I believe, third Keep now on. once we get around Pearson. Clear. That seems a little fast, and I will admit that I'm. It, the settings might be a little iffy, but I thought I, I had it at 97%. And when the run, while the run goes through, if those two stay uh, nose to tail like that, they're actually gonna You're now in third. run away with it, unlike me, because. Or unlike the guys behind me where they're side by side because and then they check up because they're side by side. That's their problem back there. I just have to calm down and try to get consistent laps going just so I don't burn up the right front. Like I always do here in Charlotte. It's like one of the tracks where I will burn up the right front. I almost smacked the wall pretty hard there. Or we're driving it. Perfect, like lap 21 or 22. As we can 
the inside of Bobby Ellis and we get by as Fred Williams in his three car. Getting held up by Frank Warren is going to make me catch up to him. Gets a little check through one, two. We're going to get around the inside and we're going to take the lead in his car. Yeah, that was a bad decision of him giving me and his car there. It's not a 28 car, it's back out front. Familiar sight if you knew, knew the 60s in every race that he raced, you would see him close or in the front. sparked what could have been if you would have actually raced the full-time races in the 60s. Maybe you could have gotten a couple titles. That car and maybe even out. more wins of what is that it. So you see, James Thomas really off the base, as I believe he was part of that first Clear crash, inside. and that's probably what's kind of screwing him. Emma Langley's car, obviously, is going to be broke, kind of broken, because... His roof's cave in, and I believe that was James Hilton stopped on the apron there. So as we come up on the car that went upside down, early in, on like lap six, Clear inside. there of Elmo Langley. I think the next car we're about to pass is Hoss Hillens and. Another, ye another yellow, yellow Ford, but I believe it's Allington because I do remember him having a little bit of rear end damage from the start when I restored. It is Haas Allington. So you can see that 61 on the deck lid right there. Clear outside. Luckily, I'm not post recording the uh, audio this time, my voice line. So I can actually see a big screen oh, I'm catching up to. I don't think this race should take that long. It really only depends on what happens when we pit. And I still think we need a pit. Yeah, we still need a pit. Uh, I think we might have pit three times, because we did pit on our yellow there. We might have to pit two more times. It really depends on how fast the fuel runs out. Also, how bad tires can get, which doesn't look too bad yet. It ain't like Asheville tires. Where they feel like they're made of jello. On shredders. I also wish Dayton and they could have some more tire room on their tracks, so they should probably change some an update of that type of issue, but I just forgot about that. What is this? Is this Neil Castles in front of us or is this the 86? Neil's ca Neil Castle, so I'm pretty sure it was this race where Neil Castle's actually slammed the back stretch wall, the inside of the wall after spinning off a of turn two. If not, then it was the real 600 money than that. Yeah, we reenacted that crash as well. Got Bunny Arrington, who actually was in that wreck, because we're going to catch up to him here, there, and that's little Larry Manning, that's Bunny Arrington. And that five car. We also had a vicious crash at Daytona, too, I believe, on fire, in the Firecracker 400. If not, Daytona 500. Clear outside. Uh, Dave Marcus, can you let me have the inside? Don't check back in, because if you check up again, we might wreck. Clear outside. Be completely honest there. Still there. Still there. Clear outside. Inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Outside. That car's a lap down. That car's a lap down. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Clear outside.
are in fact. That car is a lap down. Keep high. Clear. That car is a lap down. I feel like I just passed Dr. Dalmatar. I don't know if it was on the restart where we passed him or we passed him Keep laughing right. at him. Berlin's is still in second as he's 11 seconds back. Because unlike the AI where they check up under two Y, I probably gain a lot because of that. And now me being in the midst of lap cars actually probably would help me here. So I could slow down and not suffer a great loss in the, my lead and the cushion of my lead. Put the wall off too. The Jim Vandenberg is trying to or tried to get around. Jay Thompson does, so I went three and one. So I could buy two. He has glass back in the 99, trying to <laughs> keep it under control. As you guys see, so Gordon behind them. Use the grass a little bit, get around on the inside. Let's come up on John Sears' number four car. I'll let them repair it because I have a big, pretty big lead, so I don't think it would affect too much. So I come up on Henley Move Gray in that 8 car, and a 57 car of Haleford. I believe it's Haleford. Hale yep. That car the lap Or Halford. Still there. Whoever you want to say it. Still there. Get around Clear. those guys. Come up on Friday Hassler. And then Joe Frasone, as he has Emil Langley in front of him, who we already passed the lap multiple times. And he has JC Spencer also. As we are going to be locking up the 10th once we pass Friday here. So he actually has damage from that wreck, actually. Uh, Clear in or at least, we are in damage from maybe pit, pit, pit lane, but... There are so many more cars in this race, but as you see, there's so many cars out of the race from here blowing up or absolutely wrecking. Also, it wasn't James Hill in that blew up down the back stretch, it was actually Leroy Yarbrough. As we clip the wall again, you see here McDuffie, Wreck, or Hag, okay, so it was Bill Champion, Balmill, Balmer. Bomba. I I said I had it correct one time and I completely forgot. Bamo. Bomo. Larry Bomo. And then you got Bill Champion, Impact. Parsons, Baker, Larry Duffy, and Yarborough. He's out of the race. I thought Emma Langley would have been one of them. Most of the races we got 51 to go, but since you had a pretty, pretty uh, easy tumble, we got out of that pretty alright. As we come up on GC Spencer here. Cut the wall on two again. Turn two is like a Tetris right. corner right now. As we got clear 17 second lead on Lorenzen right now. So goodbye, GC. Yeah, that one was my fault. I was just trying to see if I could rip the top real quick. You could do it a little bit easier because the way the radius of turn one two is and the shape of it is interesting because it opens up pretty wide and then it just cuts off halfway through the corner. And right there, it kind of cuts and then right around 
here is where it really cuts. Look at that. It's coming by, I believe, Yarborough. Yarborough. I really wanted to try that hard to change the pronunciation of Leroy and Kale's last names. Isaac Warren, who you already laughed before. I believe he went Clear. down that lane, actually. So maybe you're there thinking that they lapped him before earlier in the race while I was passing over lens or I already did lap him. I can't remember. Car outside. That car is lapped down. Keep low. Clear. Outside. In contact is he kind of just outside. thinks that we're not there. I mean, you're in the middle. Won't fault wide, him for that because they ain't like we had squatters back in the day. But that the it's the down. AI from 2003. They shouldn't know that. It ain't like their AI from 1970 where they don't have squatters. Average penny up here. Just inside. Outside. As Emma Langley is coming back Come out of the pit down. lane, he he's got Bill in the 47 Clear. car, who has also had some damage here too. Turn to still clip the wall at some point. So got Jabe Thomas next here as we've walked in three times already so far as he goes down pit lane it looks like. Yeah. I don't think we're pitting yet. I think those are just the cars that are damaged, just pitting for repairs and stuff. Pete Hamilton's been down pit lane what well, it seems like since the research, so I think he just has an issue. Oh no, we still got a couple laps. I'll do one more lap because I believe. <laughs> I think we actually are about to have pits. Yeah, we're having pit stops, so I, I spoke too soon. But we can do an extra lap here to so get around Neil Castles and his 06 car. Clear. Run a pretty safe line where we're high enough not to use too much power and kind of low enough to not slam the wall, but we still pretty hit it pretty good off of two again. So we get down low, we get ready to pit here. Right now, after that caution light, they'll go over 70. Keep it under kind of six out there, in seconds. As long as we can get it down without having any. It's backing up issues. Yeah, we're perfect. Perfect in the start. No issues as a crew gives me four tires of fuel. Should probably maybe adjust the, the car a little bit more. We're gonna let them repair the car because we do have a pretty big lead. So let's see what, how much that car is out of our lead here. Also, our car is pretty fast. So I. I I have hope that we can get back up there anyway. Go, go, go! Guys, let's see, is it really 70. that bad? Keep it under 6,000 in second. That might make Rillen to get in front of us here. But I don't think that's gonna make us lose too much time. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Anything is just gonna make us kind of go a little bit further back in the lap car okay, line. Where we might have to la relapse some cars that really we shouldn't need to. Inside. Clear. So we get back on the track. We'll give you one just this fuel. quick. We'll lower the track bar. For our last pit stop. I think someone blew up, but I couldn't, I couldn't tell. I don't know if that was just the color of the pavement changing. So I got 42 to go. We're halfway through this race. Flag. We're halfway home. As you see there, halfway home. 
see a lot more cars fall out of the race here because of my settings of them being able to blow up and wreck a little dirt, blow up and blow tires more often. Just seem like this that makes, and it works too because ain't like everybody's having the same problem constantly. Inside. That car to lap down. Those guys got a little moment off of turn two there. Thirty-nine it goes to make it to the inside. GC Spencer. These two, or these three, are fifth, fourth, and third. Yeah, so it's Isaac Crewson and the Fred and then, okay, so I was correct about them at least being fifth, fourth, and third that I'm gonna catch first. Instead of all at the same time. Elmo Langley with his car, roof dented in car as he flipped over Day lap I. six. Day I. Day I. Get around the front zone, the lap of the Clear. second, or not second, uh, lap of the fourth there. Outside. That car is a lap down. Clear outside. Because we're trying to get up to third and second. Which actually, I have no idea who even is in third.
be six. No, I didn't go to third. So it actually, I didn't. I didn't line up the third. It's actually second that you find now, which is Frederick Lundsen, the guy that gave me this car as he went up to the three car for this race. He might be a little bit faster. He, it seems like he got some repairs, and now it seems like Haas Hillington is probably the solar car with the fuel right now. So we're closing in Fred Lindsay because he is that white car in front of his car in front of me, who is trying to make a move on that red car up there. Thirty laps to go here at National 500, in Charlotte, for the 1970 edition here. Whoa. Got pretty close to that wall there. Easy to miss the wall. One, two, I can never get away from it. As I flip the wall there, it's like my tires are burning off. Oh, yeah, the right front is destroyed.
much the whole pack here is I believe someone's holding them up pretty badly. You know, they're just checking up for each other. Stay low. Clear outside. Outside. I was gonna make it through wide Ben Arnold and Cooper Marlin, but eventually I was able to get to the bottom here. As we got a blown car up in front of us, I believe that's Frank Warren. It is indeed Frank Warren there in the 79 car as he gets down to the pit lane. Got Bill Dennis next up, as we get to the inside, come up to turn one. And clear out the Tuny Don Levy car. And our Richard Petty car, Pete Hamilton, who actually finally got back out on the racetrack. Is number 40 Plymouth 7 Up car. Clear. Six far. It is Roy Main. Try the glass back next, and then I believe Johnny Halford. I believe there might be two Halfords for some reason. I don't know why, because I expect this set, because it is the Charlotte 2 set from the 1970 season, that car set that they have. And unless if I was just seeing the same number, I was thinking about a different car, right? I could be wrong though, because I could be seeing the car and thinking about a different car instead. Because this, I did see the same number, so I think my theory has been debunked about there being double. So there's only been one nail for So got Jim Vandenberg here, up to seventh. Well, we're about to lap the field twice, actually. Gone that far ahead. Let's, let's save some field down the front stretch here. Just a little bit. We have so much time, we can literally pit pretty early and still be able to win this race. Probably not even losing no lead, actually. Oops. How much left in the tank? Actually, gained a lap there, I think. Trapped in there. Got Hindley Gray in eight car. Car inside. 17 to go over. We, since we uh, are at this point, we're probably gonna let's pit on lap 13. I think 13 or with 13 to go because that seems like a good lap count where we go pretty far into the run and pretty early in the run where we don't run out or pretty or too early where we uh, risk ourselves from running out in the end of the race. Or even losing the lead. That car, the lap down. Come up on Jake Thomas and John Sears. I'm gonna wait to turn three to pass Jay Thomas around the high side here. Car inside. That car, the lap down. Clear inside. Come 
And this time, because we were at car, 13 to go, the car is directly behind me Was when we get there. I'll, I'll just take another lap, or if Kelly are in front of us, pits, then we'll take another lap just so we don't run him over here. Limit 70. Keep it under 6,000. Second. That car is a lap down. Perfect. So we got our tires and feel to finish out the race here. Let's get some repairs going too as we put the wall a couple more times on that run. Not even, it's not going to take as long as we did last time though. Like maybe 25 seconds or so. Go, 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 24. go, go, Limit seven. Keep it under six thousand. It wasn't like 37 seconds. seconds or whatever it was last time. So we actually take we took One care of the car to, this time around than last time. In second. Both petty cars pit in this lap. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. That car is a lap down. And one thing that's still fascinating that me that to this day is okay, the big, that car the lap big field numbers that we used to get for races like the big races like this. In Ontario in 71, I believe, uh, had like somewhere around 54 cars in the race on a track like that. That's how they got uh, one time with 60 cars, and the first 500 about being 60 cars. It's insane. So how many? How how do you even have that many pit boxes? And I would expect. That car's a lap down. Outside. That car's a lap down. Clear outside. So I can move there as I got interrupted with that. Um, what I meant to say is I would expect them to be sharing pit, pit stalls. Like I believe the petties used to do with four cars. That car the lap down. Now Ontario, when I look at it in game, it looks like it would be able to have easily 54 stalls if this game would. Like, Still Let there. that happen, that would be amazing. Clear inside, car outside. So that would just be an Clear amazing car race. Down. 54 Clear. cars in one race. It's like Co the Coca Cola Super Speedway, too. And I believe it's in that race where they have like the longest. Because I believe in Air 3, it's kind of short. Short enough in the I race and they made it longer, I believe. I could be completely wrong, it could be reversed. Car in time. That car could just be the same length. Still there. And you just look smaller than the other. So I got eight to go. No need for pit stops. Actually, 
guy around here until we got smacked the wall, but it was still very close. That was horrible. Got a little push and go. Just five more to go. Bobby Allison gets out of pit lane after having some issues after the fir first green flag pit stop. They're on Kelly Arrow Road. Stay low. Clear. That car the lap down. I believe the differences between Kale's and Leroy's last name is uh, Leroy's Leroy Arrow and then Kale's Kelly Arrow. Side of Bobby Isaac to lap him for the second time as he's in third Clear. place. Now the next car to lap is Jim Vandenberg who gave him two laps down. So we got three laps to go and he's nowhere to be seen so we might not get to that point. Still a dominating defeat. It also would have been Leroy's or Fred Lindsay's win if he would have just Maybe one of the three car and him and his 28 car with the luck we've had so far in this race. If this car blows up, that'll be the most disappointing finish we've ever had. Jump to the go. Especially on the last the lap, because even if we do coast and not make it to the line, it doesn't mean that the race automatically finishes and I stay in first. They still have to pass me the next two times and they can take the lead away from me and also... I, honestly, I think I only lose one position. I think I would just go back to second because I have so many people lapped at this point. As we get the white flag and they're crashing right in front of us. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. Clear inside. Lap, lap. And they crash straight in front of us. Out of nowhere, GC Spencer just completely stops on the racetrack down the front stretch and then collects whoever I was behind. And then I try to go to the outside and get collected with them. Luckily, we are not blown up. Car is definitely destroyed, but we're still able to come around and win the National 500 here at Charlotte. Bounce off the Walter Four, but we're gonna win here at Charlotte. And luckily, that crash didn't happen a lap or two before, because that would probably destroyed our chances of winning, especially if it was severe enough to blow a radiator or blow our motor. But well, that'll be it for this video, and we'll leave you off with the replay of that crash.